let, let me turn to, uh, to our panel now because what we're really debating is that while there are these far-reaching suggestions by this panel, will they be effectively implemented? The key question is implementation. And joining us tonight, we have Mihira Sood, who's one of the lawyers who assisted the Justice Verma Committee in preparing this report. We have another senior lawyer who's worked closely and has given her suggestions to the panel. Brinda Grover is with us. We have Minakshi Lekhi, who's a senior lawyer herself, and also the head of the uh, BJP Mahila Mocha, its national vice president. We have Mr. Ved Marwa, former police commissioner uh, of Delhi, former governor of Manipur. Ranjana Kumari, the director of Center for Social Research, is also with us uh, tonight and hopefully we will uh, be joined by a representative of the Congress party. Yes, we have Renuka Chaudhary there uh, joining us on the show tonight. Let me get first reactions from everyone. First from Vrinda. What do you think, in a nutshell, of today's report? I think there's a paradigm shift that we can see in understanding and legislating for laws relating to women, particularly laws relating to violence against women. It has been rooted in the Constitution. There is a Bill of Rights. It has been rooted in a, in a context of inequality and, dis, no, and discrimination. And there is a shift in looking at violence against women and comprehending it and seeing it from the perspective of, of women and the language of bodily integrity, dignity, and the uh, uh, chucking out of words like modesty, etc., has begun. Also looking at women in different scenarios, in conflict zones, under disturbed areas where the Armed Forces Special Powers Act is in operation, in uh, uh, women suffering with, from disabilities, rights of women towards safe spaces, uh, what is governance and planning to do with the safety and security of women, and very crucially, acknowledging if this is a, uh, this is a violation of the bodily integrity of a woman, then there can be no space for things like marital rape. And that is the step forward that we are taking. Now, of course, the challenge is whether the parliament is up to this modern thinking. Mihira, how difficult was it to prepare this report in a record 29 days? And, and, to, and to, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very vast report, a very broad-based suggestions, very, you know, it's, it's very, very broad in its terms. How, how difficult has this been? Uh, it's, it's not been easy. Look, the reason it's very broad is because there is no point, there is no point saying you're just going to amend Section 375, 376, 354, Evidence Act, etc. If you're looking at gender justice, if you're looking at crime against women, if you're looking at safety or protection, then you need to target every single system that is responsible in any way to contributing to this. And that whether that includes your police, whether that includes politics, whether that includes um, public spaces and urban planning, whether that includes street lighting, legislative reform, cup <coughs> panchayats, armed forces, all of it. So, there, I mean, it was necessary and all of us understood from the very beginning that this cannot be limited because it will not achieve anything. In terms of difficulty, yes, it was exhausting. <laughs> 29 uh, days is quite remarkable. 29 days. Um, and uh, all of us, all of us who've been working with them have, uh, have given our all to this. Uh, but if you, if you go through it, you'll find that much of it was collating, collating measures that already exist mm and have not been implemented. And that, I think, is the greatest indictment. Because it is not just about um, uh, whether or not we have the infrastructure for this. Can we, can, you know, this is all, th these are all measures for which we already have the infrastructure. Everything is in place. You don't even need political will. Circulars have been issued from time to time. Directions are given in various departments. And none of it is implemented. That is the greatest indictment. But one of the remarkable things, I think, about this report that is a departure from previous ones, and just to take off a little bit on what Brinda was saying, is that this is not rooted in a concept of protection or you know safety, or it is it is rooted in a discourse of rights and sexual autonomy and safety and protection only as measures to realize those rights that are inherent. And especially in every by woman widening the definition of what constitutes yeah, it, it, sexual it, it violence. Is not about, it is I, not about doling yeah. out protection. I, now I want to talk now about the specifics in terms of implementation. And the first thing I ask Mr. Marwa this first is, you know, the, 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 realistically, how, how well do you think this, this can be implemented? Because when, when you look at the fact that the DGPs don't think it's important to even talk to the committee, it's more important to have a meeting with the Home Minister and, and Justice Verma's anguish on that point. That tells you uh, that there is a big picture problem here. You see, the very fact that uh, this committee has given its report in 19, 9, 29 20. days, such an exhaustive report, it is because it is well known what has not been done and what needs to be done. 
and that is where the problem lies. If uh, the government thought that setting up of Verma Commission will only buy them time and then uh, the business can go on as usual, I must compliment the Justice Verma Committee that that is not going to be the case. He has given specific recommendations. There are two categories of recommendation. One which require amendment to law. Yeah. But there are a number of other, <coughs> other recommendations which require no amendment of law. They can be implemented by executive order. Why delay them? And as far as your question about the DGP is concerned, I think the responsibility lies entirely on the Ministry of Home Affairs. Uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs, as the Minister has just said on um, your program, that uh, they convened a meeting. They had the uh, recommendations of the DGPs with them. Why didn't they give it to the Justice yeah, Which is what I asked as well. And even the Ministry itself didn't give uh, its yes. own recommendation to the Burma Till committee. the very last minute. Shows how seriously mm. they are taking these recommendations. If wisdom dawns on them now that those days are gone when the media and the people at large will let them get away by stalling for time, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen and they, with the elections uh, just about a year away, um, I think they better wake up because uh, they, it, it is a very <coughs> serious thing. And the Justice Verma Committee has touched upon some very, very serious issue concerning criminal justice system. And if the government uh, doesn't look at them seriously and do something about it, I think uh, we are in great trouble. But you think there's a lack of seriousness by the way they have behaved on this so far? A certain lack Obviously, of... Obviously, there's yeah. no doubt about that. Okay. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.